So one of the great things about having RV neighbors is sometimes you meet some really cool people with really cool rigs. Look at that Airstream in the background. This is being recorded in 2020. That is from 1985. And what I wanted to do is introduce you to these really awesome people that I met and had fun with last night. Um, the, um, their RVing experience, why they chose Airstream, and um, get a tour, and you get to have a song played for you. Let's go meet Funny, Mim, and Kyla. Kayla, Kayla. Let's go. Tuning in today, really appreciate that. My name is Scott. I am your host. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large. We are a YouTube channel dedicated to the RV van lifestyle in particular and what we do here is we learn we share you decide what's best for you today I got a special treat for you you're going to tour a vintage airstream sovereign 1985 vintage and meet some really awesome people that were my rv neighbors uh, i've been full-time in my winnebago travado that's the van behind me since february 2019 we're coming up coming up on two years of ownership altogether watch for a video about that and um, let's get right into the interview with the airstream family um, Fani, Mim, and Kyla. So after um, chatting with our neighbors uh, last night, um, they were gracious enough to uh, give us a little bit of an introduction, a little bit of a tour of their awesome RV. So I'm going to hand them the microphone and just, who are you and how do you fit into this story? Then I got a couple questions for you. My name's Kyla Davidson. I am the youngest daughter of these two. Um, I guess that's how I fit into this story. They met in the 80s, they made me, and here we are. <laughs> For a profession, I'm a professional cellist, so I play with the Boise Philharmonic as much as we can this season, and I also uh, started and managed my own private studio with 25-plus students. And I'm Dad, I'm Fawny Davidson, and I'm a musician, artist, commercial fisherman, Airplanes, several different things in my life, but uh, in the last, since early 80s, 81, 83, I've been a professional artist. Hi, I'm Mim. Um, I'm uh, one year retired now, which is really great fun. A lot of uh, changes in our life, and it's all been good. We started RVing in the middle 90s, and I don't know, we've been doing it for about 25 years or so, maybe a little more. Why Airstream? Um, <clears throat> well, that's a that can be answered quickly or it can take a length of time. <laughs> sure. uh, the, the quick answer is two or three reasons. One is they pull like a dream. I mean, they pull better than anything, and I've done actually quite a bit of pulling, even professional truck driving, because the center of gravity is low, the water's over the wheels, they're aerodynamically built, good fuel mileage, and then the construction is all aluminum, and almost every part on this trailer, even though this is a 1985, nearly every part on this trailer is available. There are a few things that, because of age, but there's a, there's a huge network of people who support the Airstream trailer. So there's a lot of parts, a lot of knowledge, uh, very upgradable, and you can take this trailer from what it is right now and spend a bunch of money on it, and a movie star's living in it for $150,000. So why, why vintage, why not new? Well, first of all, cost to buy this trailer new is significantly more cost in a new version of this trailer, just like the one that just went by. Oh, yeah. That was good time. Um, and you you can buy this trailer for twenty five grand, and and the new one will cost you two or three times that. And they are built differently. Uh, some things are better, some things are not better. Uh, uh, there are quite a few things about the new trailers I'm not fond of. All the electronics. Well, they're they're, they're, they're actually they're they're actually quite a few different things, but um, cost and build. All right, let's check out inside. All right. Go ahead. Come on in. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Oh my god, it's so much heavier. <laughs> it's it's a very comfortable space. Very comfortable space. Tell us about it. So this is the this uh dining? this couch, yeah, pulls folds out to make into like a double bed. It's not the most comfortable bed in the world, but it works well. Um, this table flips up. Sure. And it's it actually folds out. We could get four or five people around it pretty easily. 
Um, storage up here. This needs to be replaced, but it's there. The panels that tell us how full our tanks oh, are, yeah. um, you know, condition of the battery. So kind of the master control. Okay, that is really cool. Yeah. That's vintage there. That's, this Yes, this is that, all I mean, vintage. that looks cool. That's and fabulous. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you asked about the painting. So this oh, yes. painting was the, the first painting that Fani did when we took the safari to our first uh, Wally Byam Airstream rally back in 2005. Wow. So we decided it was worth keeping it in the trailer because um, that's what it what it was painted for, for or from. Why? That's great. Um, love this galley. Look how, how big this is. Oh, I love this. A lot of people want to take their stoves out. You know, I, I honestly don't get it, but that's so great. four burners. The oven. Oven. And we, we used the oven this trip, actually. Um, another thing I really like about this is this little cabinet right here behind the stove with all the, you know, it's our junk drawer. <laughs> um, then we have under here is more storage and our, I can show you, it doesn't probably, but our silverware, yeah. you know, pots and pans. This is yet another storage capacity. That's awesome. And then... Um, the fridge? Yeah, this fridge. And, and this uh, interesting cabinet. Yeah, so, so we've... Fridge and freezer. And of course, uh, we like to do Gin 30. <laughs> um, oh, Dometic brand, everybody. Look at that. Yeah, it, Dometic. It's huge. And... Just um, gas propane? Gas propane, or, uh, and it, propane? it'll automatic, yeah, electric, yeah, yeah electric and yeah. propane. Right. Automatically changes back and forth um, if it's set on auto. We've chosen to have it on gas here just because the temperatures were hot and it just seems to cool better yeah. on gas. So that's what we chose. Okay. This is this yeah. is just a weird little storage totally. compartment. You slip your broom in there or something? Or? Well, we keep, you know, the trays and... Yeah. and uh, Mm -hmm. That sort of stuff goes in here for That's us. So awesome. The closet. Oh wow, look at the size of that wardrobe. That is huge. Wow. And then... Everybody's oh, favorite room, the bathroom. The bathroom! Yay, hey, everybody. <laughs> wow, okay. And the shower is lovely. It's wonderful. Huge. It's Yeah. And you guys use that, right? We use it. And the toilet style is traditional RV? Well, actually... Um, Compost? No, it's, it's a regular toilet. But when we got this trailer, it had a, a elongated commercial, you know, you go buy them at Camping World or whatever, toilet in it. And it sits up pretty high. So, <laughs> so both of us, we neither one liked the dangly feeling. Okay, sure. Um, in the safari, we had to replace the toilet oh, yeah. there, and we, we found a, a marine supply place that would custom make the toilet for us. So they took their pieces and parts and put it together so it sits lower, and it's a porcelain bowl, yeah, and it's a deep nice. porcelain bowl, and it just is ideal. Is, um, I, I, you know, it's perfect. Great. I love the uh, vanity lights, the mirrors, right? Mm -hmm. That's cool. And Huge then there's window. Oh, my storage God. behind this. Oh, sure. And then Huge. lots of stuff. Look at this. Holy cow. And still yet more below. Look at that awesome view you have. Right? Clean your teeth. That is so great. Okay. And, and the then bedroom. The so bedroom. Twin beds. Twin beds. And um so twin I I of course grew up in the fam in a family that you everybody you know, you sleep you each have your own bed. And, well, mom and dad sleep in a bed. And we just Found in the safari, um, Fani used to take it out when he'd go painting, and if he wanted to take somebody else painting with him, having the twin beds made it much easier. Yeah. And uh, we had two girls when we first had the Argosy, and so again, two beds. They had each had their bed, and we'd pull out the bed each night. Yeah. And then there's three drawers in here, sure. and a couple of drawers under the beds. Just love the windows, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. So nice. Well, a huge thank you to the family for touring. Let's tour your your uh, uh, 
your home on wheels. It's so amazing. So every RVer has a lot of questions on what I call RV systems. So um, let's go through some of those. Um, freshwater tank capacity? It's 50 gallons. Of fresh water? Yeah. Okay. For RVers, we talk about toilets and waste tanks. So what kind of yeah, waste? Yeah, about uh, an equal amount of uh, waste tank. So about 50 gallons? Yeah, about 50 gallons of, of waste tank also. That's amazing. I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about electrical. Do you have solar? Uh, we have a portable solar panel. We're not using it today. Okay. <clears throat> it's about a hundred watt. So tell us about your batteries. And you and I talked, and you have kind of traditional EGM, and you're looking to go to lithium, which is which is awesome. Okay, uh, as far as the lithium over the L, uh, uh, over the AGM battery, um, there's there's a lot here to learn. So go and study it because there's way more than I can say now. But essentially, it's a far superior storage device. Uh, uh, Amp for amp, a lithium battery will give you almost twice as much usable amperage on a regular basis that an AGM will give you. They will last many times longer, and the cost of the lithium battery up front is excessive almost, it seems like, but if you count into it how many cycles it has available, if you take care of it, if you muck around with it and don't take care of it correctly, uh, you can destroy your battery, but they are a far superior yeah, uh, storage device. Charge faster, charge fuller, discharge everything, more. Everything, everything. Um, the weight. Uh, every, so uh, no matter, it, every characteristic of a battery is better with the lithium, except cost. So, so let me ask you this. Thank you for that. It's it's always fascinating. I just it's in such great shape. Um, we'll see if we can put some uh, pictures for you guys to take a look at. Um, but I noticed you have a, your guitar in the front room. Would you mind grabbing that and playing a song for us? No, I will. Sure. Okay. Excuse me. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. This is not a standard guitar, so I'm learning the guitar, as many of you know. And uh, kind of what is this in the short version? And what song are you going to sing? And tell us just a little bit about the artist. Named after a really hot car that Ford produced in the 70s. <laughs> Pinto, I think, or something like that. Um, okay. <laughs> this guitar is a 1935 Epiphone tenor and uh, it's a carved instrument it's a beautiful little guitar I'm gonna sing a tune that was written by a friend of mine uh, his name is Pinto Bennett he's kind of a legend in the state of Idaho and when I first met Pinto we were playing in uh, we'd come out to Bruno and play hall dances so this tune is called <clears throat> Prairie Blues and much of what Pendle has written is, is autobiographical, of course, like many writers. But um, anyway, this is about essentially the truck stop at Mountain Home um, and being raised out here in the sagebrush and wishing you were doing something else sometimes. And, <laughs> and, and well, let's, let's hear it. Anyway. I see the way that you look at me when I come into town. Don't be surprised if you don't see me after that sun goes down. I can see the reason that I live right in front of my nose. And I feel just like a stranger and I know it's so. So pardon the expression, ma'am, but I can see what it has done to you. So boy, what a fool I've been for thinking I was through with you. And now I know you're never gonna let me go. Well, baby, it's such a shame. Somewhere is a long, long way to the end of the line, baby. Relax and have a beer. For the day's gone by and the nights are dry, and wash away those tears. Ain't it funny how women wear a 
all your doubts and fears. So pardon the expression, ma'am, but I can see what it has done for you. And boy, what a fool I've been for thinking I was through with you. And now I know you're never gonna let me go. Well, baby, it's such a shame if you only knew. Ba da 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 So pardon the expression, ma'am, but I can see what it has done for you. And boy, what a fool I've been for thinking I was through with you. And now I know you're never gonna let me go. Well, baby, it's such a shame. I always land in jail Then it's making amends And calling my friends See if they'll go my bail Well, many's a day I've driven away With this old town in my rear view mirror I'm riding the range of wind in the sage And my conscience is clear Yes, I'm riding the range and my conscience is clear. There you go. That was amazing. That was Mentor. so great. Wow, well, yeah. thank you so much for playing that for us. You bet. You can find him on the internet. There's quite a bit of stuff on him. Okay. Yeah, good friend. And that's a good point. So we're going to link um, a lot of these. Uh, so uh, Fani has a website um, with his paintings on there. Uh, he's got a YouTube uh, so song posted on YouTube, so we're going to link that out. All right. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying that. That's really amazing. And these uh, these folks are so gracious to invite us into their their um, their home, literally. And even the dog got in the act, which is pretty cool. Um, so here's my question for you, just as we wind down. What advice would you give uh, for our viewers, whether they're new, seasoned, looking at their first one? Um, what advice would you give them? I think the best bit of advice I'd give to somebody is to have fun. Don't be too structured. Um, just kind of let life uh, lead you down the path because it's going to take you places where you might not expect to go. Yeah, and talk to somebody that's done it a whole bunch before you make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> you can learn a lot from people that already have experience, and they will help you. If you're an Airstreamer, there's a huge amount of support out there in the world, uh, unlike any other trailer. And we have helped many people get started. I've found trailers for other people. Um, you know, they're just, in the Airstream community, there's just a huge amount of support. As um, somebody kind of, you know, from a kid's angle, right? And, sure. Uh, what's the name of your band again? Oh, um, this is my band. We are called WEND. Um, we're a nine-piece band with a harp, string quartet, drums, electric guitars, vocals, <laughs> uh, pretty much everything in there except it, the kitchen sink well yeah no kitchen sink because we're in a trailer to, right? oh yeah so rv advice let your parents do all the work and have fun <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're still chuckling about that thank you <laughs> Spoken like a true kid. I love it. Um, well, just thank you again, each of you. It's been just a delight, and thanks for being part of, uh, you know, the channel here and um, and just sharing your experience. I think this is what people these days are looking for: is true experiences. And you guys just, you know, really blessed my heart last night with your your songs and and it's just this has been a really nice little RV neighborhood right here. So it it's is. really great. So just thank you again. We'll post all the information below. And until then, we will. How do you sign off on from stage normally? Bye. Take a bow. The, the, <laughs> Take a uh, bow. the airstream.
way of saying goodbye is see you down the road. I'll see you down the road. I love it. See you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, tour and a little personal history and a song. Um, that's how we roll here on Go Small, Live Large. Uh, we just learn and share together the RV experience, whether you're in a van like me or whether you're in a vintage rig like the VW Camper Bus. We've had that video recently and in this case, a vintage Airstream. Um, hard to believe that that uh, unit is several decades old and um, it's just beautiful. And if you're into any of that kind of stuff at all, uh, if you've got anything out of this today, I sure would appreciate a thumb up. That helps me know you liked it, helps others know you liked it, helps uh, YouTube know you liked it, and then they share it out to other folks. And gosh, if you're into RVing, whether it's a van, a towable, the big dudes, the Class A's, maybe it's a Class C, if you're into really cool people, really great places, um, consider subscribing to the channel. That's what we do here is we share all of that to help you be a better RVer, whether you're long-term, short-term, or near-term. Um, it'd just be a pleasure to have you part of the success of this channel. We've just crossed 10,000 uh, subscribers here in the month of uh, October uh, 2020. So thank you again for watching, and we'll see you soon.